All right, three, two, one. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Vitaly. Welcome to Touch Life Studio. And today we're gonna talk about what's in my camera bag 2022. Now we're actually gonna cover not what's only my camera bag for photo, but also for video. So I'm gonna break it down onto two parts, photo kit and a video kit. Now, if you guys wanna just want to go down to certain uh, type of items on the list, what's in my camera bag, you can just look down in the description below and you will see those chapters and you just jump ahead if you're really interested only in those pieces. All right, so let's start with the camera bag itself. So today I, well, I just added a new camera bag into my um, arsenal here and this is Low Pro Pro Tactic 450 AW2. Now this camera is absolute beast. I've been kind of looking, um, I've been researching for quite a while what kind of camera bag do I need to get because I actually been using this smaller camera bag for probably, I wanna say six, seven, maybe eight years. And I find that it's getting a little too small for me, especially when it comes to traveling. Now, this one was like a case logic. I bought it somewhere from, I don't know, one of the big box stores and it served me pretty good. Now, so now this camera is, camera bag is being discontinued in my household and we're moving on onto this one here. Now, why I love this bag, guys, specifically is there's a, so many ways to get into the bag. Number one, it's you can get it from the side, from left or from the, from the right itself here. You can actually get it all the way from the top. And this is a, such a hard shell up here that really makes it really awesome. One of the things that I did not know about this bag, and that was actually a pleasant surprise. And let me show you something here. When I got this back, I happened to notice that there's a little opening in the back here, and that happened to be the, I don't know, I call it a rain jacket for the bag itself. So this was relatively a pleasant surprise. Now, another nice thing about this bag was that it has actually came in with a bunch of little uh, places that you can attach various accessories. And one of them is a little tripod. I can actually switch this one and put it somewhere off to the side if I wanted to. Um, as well, there's a little attachment here, a little belt to hold your uh, little tripod if you have here. So I would say this bag is fantastic. So it has actually four, four openings. One on one side, two, three on top. And the last one, the fourth one is actually on the top. And this is what we're gonna talk about. So here we go. So what's here in the back is there's uh, basically two very main pockets here. Uh, one and two, there is a pocket for your laptop. It can fit, I don't know, I wanna say about 15 inch um, uh, laptop here, which I don't really use. And the rest of them are really main accessories that we're gonna talk about right now. So the very first thing that I wanna talk about here, or maybe a second after the back, is the camera itself. So now I've been using Nikon Z62 or Z62, depending what part of the world you're from. And this camera is fantastic. I primarily have switched from the DSLRs now to a mirrorless world big part of it because I'm doing videos and I didn't want to change all of my lenses that I had in the past and uh, I ended up going with Z6 II. This camera is fantastic. I've used it for weddings, engagements, um, different uh, holiday portraits, things like that and I can't tell you how much I'm happy with this camera. Now guys, if you want to know more about this camera itself, I actually have done a very detailed review of this camera. I want to say it's a uh, um, one year with Nikon Z6 II. You can guys look in my, uh, in my playlist. Now, second is lenses. And let me start with the very first one. And this is Nikon 24 to 70 F2.8 S lens. Let me tell you, this lens is fantastic. It's not one of the cheapest lenses that Nikon makes. It's probably one of the, on the higher end. But again, it's a beautiful lens. Um, I actually recently did a review on the most versatile lens of, um, for wedding photographers. And I find this to be the one lens that really, you can actually shoot the entire wedding if you really wanted to with this just one lens. 
Looking at the next uh, lens here, and this one is Nikkor 50mm f1.8 S lens. And again, this one is for mirrorless cameras. Um, this actually was one of my first mirrorless lenses that I have purchased. Um, I also did a review of this lens. If you guys want to look at it, I'll also link it up in a corner here for you uh, if you want to check it out. But beautiful lens. And the third lens that I actually still kept as my F mount lens is the 85 F 1.8. And here I'm using it with an FTZ adapter. It actually, um, I would say, made F mount lenses better than they used to be with uh, Nikon Z cameras. So pretty much I use 24 to 70, 50 millimeter, and 85 millimeter. And with all of these three lenses, you can do just an amazing work depending what you are into. Now let's talk a little bit about flashes that I use. So very first one, and I've been using this uh, flash for probably six, maybe seven years. And this is a Speedlight made by Nikon SB700. I use this uh, Speedlight at weddings, um, at engagements, at uh, different uh, parties. This lens is still rocking very well. Now the second one that I start using now, and this is more of an off-camera flash, and this is AD, 200 Pro uh, made by Godox. And this one is actually is in combination with um, X2T uh, from Godox as well that I can wirelessly uh, trigger. Now let's talk about the uh, memory cards. So what I use is, uh, the first one is I wanna mention is this Pelican hard case. Now, depending on where you are, if you are shooting a lot outdoors, this is a waterproof case. Um, it's great. Um, it really fits a number of um, uh, memory cards. Um, now, this is a CF Express, actually, that I now I use for the Z62, uh, but I have a ton of the SD cards that I still use uh, for various things because the Z62 actually takes two cards. One of them is the XQD or CF Express, and the second one is uh, uh, SD cards. So I highly recommend this little um, Pelican hard case, which I keep in my bag. Another piece of uh, my gear that I want to share with you guys is I'm using this one. Uh, this made it by a little, you know, I want to call it a hand strap um, made by Peak Design. It's actually, I think, called a cuff. Uh, that really, it's a very small profile. Um, you have this little uh, tiny things. Honestly, I don't even know what the name for these things, but it helps you to, if you wanna simply remove it and use it without it, you, you can do that as well. But this is nice little um, feature for your camera that makes it handy sometimes if you are holding the camera for quite a while that you don't drop in. Another next thing that I wanna share with you guys is this little um, Nikon lens pen that I've been using for quite a while. Um, this is basically for cleaning your lenses and you had a little brush up here that allows you to kind of remove larger uh, dirt from the lens. Um, it's cle clearly not for the sensor of the camera, but for cleaning lenses and uh, I find it very, very handy. Now, in one other little camera that I use, um, primarily when I have to use uh, some sort of a time-lapse time -lapse photography is my uh, little faithful uh, GoPro Hero 7. Now, there have been new um, iterations of this camera, uh, 8 and 9 and 10, I wanna say. Um, I really never needed, had a need to upgrade for the latest and greatest. This one works just fine because it's only for those specific shots that I'm going for usually. So. Um, I'm using my little GoPro as well that usually lives in my camera. Bag. Now guys, if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, hit that like button. And um, apparently I'm told that this is what YouTube likes. Now guys, let me talk a little bit about my video kit. Uh, for the most part, it's everything that's in my photo kit, but I also added a few more things to it. Now the very first one, let me start with, it is my gray card and this is it. This thing is so useful. Um, it really costs only about, I don't know, nine, ten dollars. But even for this video, I use this gray car to set up this video and uh, to get a proper white balance. I gotta tell you, it's a, such an indispensable piece of my kit when it comes to video because you can get your white balance right away the way you need it and you don't have to mess 
too much when it comes to the post-processing. So highly, highly recommend this little um, gray card. Now, the next thing um, that I'm using for video is, um, and again, I found it relatively handy, is this one, Atomos Shinobi Monitor. Now, most of the mirrorless cameras obviously come with a monitor, but sometimes it is kind of hard to tell exactly uh, whether you have everything in focus the way you want it, whether the colors are right. And this little monitor has been really, really useful. If I need to get zebras, if I need to get false colors, which very frequently, this is how I set the color especially on people's faces. And it's not the same one. Well, it is, I guess, a lower version of the Ninja 5, which is also a recorder, but I really don't need to record because I record everything onto my SD card. Now, the next one is obviously microphones and audio is just as important as the video. So there's a two things that I usually use. The first one is if I'm somewhere on location outside, I use this Rode Video Mic row i want to say and it really makes the video so much better uh, especially if i am interviewing the kids uh, or if i'm somewhere at the distance and i want to get i don't want to be able to get this sort of ambient noise i use this uh, video micro the second one piece is um, it's actually Rode wireless go um, which I'm actually using right now, along with this little uh, tiny um, lav uh, lavalier mic. And um, as you can see, this is what the video sounds like through the camera, routed directly. Um, I don't have to sync anything in the post-processing, um, and that comes very handy and very simple. Now, the third piece of audio equipment that I use is a little bit more complicated, but it's when I need a much higher audio quality, when I need maybe a duplicate, and I use this um, Zoom H5 and um, I had this uh, audio recorder for probably maybe three or four years by now. I used it a number of times. It takes uh, normal SD cards here on the side, which I know some of the recorders actually come in uh, with the micro uh, SD cards and this one just takes regular cards. Handy to use. You can attach your um, XLR microphones or you can attach your regular uh, 3.5 millimeter jack uh, microphone as well. And again, this is a uh, very useful. Now, one of the things that sometimes um, we might be all running low is the juice. Um, um, and sometimes we forget to charge something. So uh, what's handy to have in your camera bag is this power bank, not this specifically. Uh, this one somewhere probably I purchased from like a Walmart, uh, but there's a plenty of other uh, power banks that you can purchase on Amazon or B&H uh, that have a lot more capacity. But I use this little power bank for a number of things. And one of them actually is live streaming. I've been able to attach my, uh, through the, um, USB-C um, cord uh, to my Z, uh, Z6 II, Nikon Z6 II, and uh, probably for maybe nearly three hours uh, that I was able to run uh, the video live streaming without camera dying, without having to switch batteries. This is very handy. Plus, you can charge your um, uh, microphones with these things um, and um, you know many other uses you can charge your cell phone if you need to very handy it's, as you can see it's a very thin very small profile and I usually keep it in my camera bag uh, make sure just charge it uh, anywhere you go uh, whenever you go in the car. now one other thing that I use um, that I find handy as well is to have some sort of a tool whenever you are on location if you need to fix something up again this is a very simple one it comes in you know I'm not sure what's the name of it this is probably some a multi-tool but I had situations where I needed to cut something, when I needed to fix something while I'm on location, and this is very handy. So I use this little multi-tool as well as this little uh, pocket knife um, that, again, I probably purchased from a hardware store or something. Um, there's so many of these ones, and, you know, if, you need, if I need to open boxes, if I need to... Um, and when I'm um, at a wedding and there's a, something that I need to cut a little bit here um, or be able to help somebody with this, uh, again, a uh, very handy little knife. By the way, try not to take these things 
when you go on the airplane because you may get in trouble or they will simply confiscate from you. <laughs> Guys, and this is pretty much what I have in my camera bag for 2022. I hope you found this video helpful, um, interesting, entertaining. Guys, for more content like this, please consider subscribing and hitting that like button so I know and YouTube knows that you like the video so that I can make more content like this for viewers like you. Thank you.